Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com and I'm here to show you how our coordinate grid application works. It is available at www.MathNook.com in the teaching tools section. Um, when you first start up the application, it's in show mode as you can see here and this helps to uh, show how the coordinate grid works. Uh, if I was to choose a point here, say 8, 8, you'll see that the arrow goes over along the X and Y axis to help show how the coordinate pair is derived and that coordinate pair is shown right beside the point. Quiz mode allows you to quiz on the coordinate pair uh, associated with the uh, point on the uh, coordinate grid. Choosing 7, 7, if I plug in 7, six and check it tells me the correct answer is seven seven if i go ahead and choose the correct answer and click check it gives me a little check mark and a cool display a couple things i'd like to note is that the uh, a little animation looks better in person than it does on the video the video really can't show uh, how how good it looks but if you don't like it you can always turn the animation on by clicking animation off over on the control panel. Another thing we've done in trying to keep the uh, application interactive whiteboard friendly is you've got these uh, arrows that you can click up and down without actually having to resort to the keyboard although you could use a keyboard to plug in the numbers uh, in here also. The next mode we have is random mode in which a random coordinate pair is chosen as you can see here and the object is to choose the associated point on the coordinate grid. Since uh, 9 8 is, is displayed I'll go ahead and choose 9 7 instead and it basically tells me that I clicked on 9 7 I need to try again. If I click on 9 8 which is the right answer I get a little check mark and if the animation on had been on I would get the cool little animation. Um, after you choose the right answer you get a new coordinate pair and uh, that's how the random mode works. This application is highly customizable um, if I don't want to see the configuration panel and it's really not needed unless you're wanting to change modes or other things I can hit the C key uh, to get rid of it and uh, I can also move everything around this on the screen to rearrange how everything looks um, I can resize pretty much everything and as you notice it gets extremely large and you're not going to lose any of the resolution the gra graphics stay sharp looking and this makes it ideal for uh, large displays and interactive whiteboards uh, thanks for watching I hope you liked it